Welcome back. Make sure y'all like and subscribe to the channel, man. We're just going to jump right into this with the Ja Morant situation that's going on. I mean, they're talking about he could possibly miss a significant time next season. I mean, they haven't really saying, said exact what's going on, how much, how much time will he'll miss. But you got some people saying, even Chandler Parsons, former NBA player, saying suspend him for the whole season. I don't know if I would go that far. But you need to set an example, as of course. You're going you to have some people still running their mouth, saying all he did was flashing a gun. But if you're, if, if you're the caliber of player John ja Morant is, and you've done this on two occasions, plus you got the situation with the teenager, um, with the Indiana Pacers situation, there's a re he's building a reputation, and that's not good. Some people, they, they, they have a problem with that. With all the stuff he's done, they think you're just supposed to brush it under the rug. I mean, sweep it under the rug. It don't work like that. You've heard guys like Shannon Sharp, Kwame Brown, even had AJ Brown plays in the NFL. He tweeted out something, which I think John ja Morant and others have gotten on him about, but it ain't clicking. It ain't clicking. And Cameron, Cameron, the rapper, man, he said it. When he uh when everybody saw that little interview he did with Jalen Rose, when he Cameron called it out, like, why are you trying to use mental health as an excuse? And you're still doing it. Why? Hold on. But why why are you trying to use mental health? That that made no sense to me. Just hold yourself accountable for what you're doing. I'm, I've been a huge supporter of John Moran. I did a video before the season started saying that he will win a championship in the next five years because he is a competitor, and I like how he plays. He moves without the ball. He moves with the ball. John Moran is a spectacular ta talent in the NBA, but if he doesn't make any changes, I mean, that may not last. A lot of people like to bring in, bring up Allen Iverson, Stephon Marbury, and other guys. Social media wasn't as big as it is now you have a lot of eyes on you ask mikey williams and some other players how that's going for them and a lot of people don't want to have that conversation y'all and iverson and them yeah they did what they did but social media wasn't as big as it is now when people just pull out a phone and film you so don't try to compare that because john morant knows all eyes are on him now, eat more than ever, eyes are gonna be on him. I mean, he can do what he wanna do. If you don't, you have that I don't care mentality, you can you can do that, but the NBA ain't finna, ain't finna let that fly. You can do that without the NBA. And some people just gonna have to be butthurt about that. But he, is, he has a job and he must follow those guidelines. I mean, they got kids, he has role, he, he is a role model to a lot of young young generation the nba doesn't want to be a part of that if he keep flashing out guns like i said you can say Allen iverson and stuff my brother them when they was growing up they didn't know Allen iverson them was in the streets and stuff they just thought of him as an nba player but if social media would have existed then Allen iverson wouldn't have been that guy that a lot of people would have wanted him to be a role model for but my brother them they they loved Allen Iverson but they didn't know he was in the streets like that because social media wasn't as big as it is now to see all that so yeah that's all I got to say man I hope he gets on the right track but post comments let me know what you guys think of this situation do you think he will be suspended half of the season or you think he'll be like maybe 15 20 games 25 games post comments let me know what you guys think